All right, guys. It's part four on the review sheet. Section four. Laws of logarithms. We're going to do A, B, and C in the same video. Now, A says, state the laws of logarithms. It is essential that you know your laws of logarithms. And the first one we're going to start with is the product to sum. The product to sum states when there is multiplication inside of one logarithm, that is converted into the addition of two logarithms with the same base. So log base A of capital A times B will equal to log base A of capital A plus log base A of capital B. Vice versa, the addition of two logarithms with the same base can be converted into the multiplication inside of one logarithm, keeping that base. The next rule we have is gonna be the quotient to difference rule for logarithms. If you have division inside of one logarithm, you can turn it to the subtraction of two logarithms with the same base. And vice versa, if you have the subtraction of two logarithms with the same base, you can convert that into the, into the division inside of one logarithm. And then the last one is going to be the power rule. Let's say you have an exponent that is attached to the input of the logarithm, an exponent attached to the entire base. You can bring the exponent down in front of the logarithm as multiplication. And let me rewrite that with the base of A. But once again, the X one has to be implied or applied to the entire base, to the entire input of your logarithmic function. And then vice versa, if there is a value being multiplied in front of the logarithmic function, you can bring that back up to the top as the exponent of the entire input. Before we do part B and part C, I also want to state the conversion between radicals and rational exponents. Now, if you remember, the nth root of a to the power of m, such that n is greater than or equal to 2, is equal to a raised to the power of m divided by n. Now, once again, remember, n, which is your denominator and your rational exponent, which is the index and the radical has to be a value that is greater than or equal to positive two. So in the first one, we're gonna condense. Condense two thirds natural log of two X minus three plus five natural logs of X minus 12 natural log of 14 X minus 11. First thing is first, we're gonna execute the power rule we're going to bring each of these exponents back on top on the input as an exponent. The number is being multiplied in front of the logarithm back up as an exponent, I should say. Got kind of tongue tied. So that's going to be the natural log of 2x minus 3 to the power of 2 thirds plus the natural log of x being raised to the fifth power minus the natural log of 14x minus 11 raised to the power of 12. The next thing we're going to focus on is right here. If you notice, we are adding two logarithms with the same base. We can convert that into the multiplication inside of one logarithm. However, before I do that, before I do that, I first want to convert put this in blue. I want to convert my 2x minus 3 to the 2 thirds from a rational exponent into a radical. So I'm going to put my radical right here. The inside, which is the radicant, is 2x minus 3. Now, the numerator of the rational exponent will be the power that's inside of the radical. Now, 
Let me do a better job drawing this radical as well. There we go. And the denominator of my exponent, as stated right here, will be the index of my radical, which is 3. x being raised to the fifth power is just x to the fifth. But once again, because I'm adding two logarithms with the same base, I can turn that to the multiplication inside of one logarithm. So it's going to be the natural log. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the x to the fifth first. Put that in front of the radical. And the reason why we can do that is because multiplication is commutative, which means I can rearrange the order and still get the same product. Times the cube root of... 2x minus 3 squared. And now you're going to bring down the other piece, which is going to be minus the natural log of 14x minus 11 raised to the 12th power. We have the subtraction between two logarithms with the same base. We can turn the subtraction of two logarithms with the same base into the division inside of one logarithm. So it's going to be the natural log. In my numerator, that is going to be x to the fifth times the cube root of 2x minus 3 squared. Divided by, in my denominator, that is going to be 14x minus 11 I can never write my one straight, raised to the 12th power. And that is the answer to that question. And if you notice, for part C, that is what we are expanding. So when we expand part C, the answer will be the same as when we condensed part B. So now let's condense part C. I mean, so let's expand part C because it's already condensed. It says expand the natural log of x to the fifth times the cube root of 2x minus 3 squared divided by 14x minus 11 being raised to the power of 12. The overall operation inside of this logarithm is division. We can turn the, the division inside of one logarithm into the subtraction between two logarithms. So that's going to be the natural log of x to the fifth times the cube root of 2x minus 3 squared. And that's going to be minus the natural log of 14x minus 11 to the power of 12. If we focus right here at this next part, we have the multiplication inside of one logarithm. We can turn the multiplication of one logarithm into the addition of two logarithms with the same base. So that's going to now going to be the natural log of x to the fifth power plus the natural log of the cube root of 2x minus 3 squared minus the natural log of 14x minus 11 raised to the 12th power. I'm going to put that in black since I didn't do anything to that in this step. Okay. Now, we're going to be using the power rule to bring the exponents down in front as multiplication. This power of 5 is applied to the entire base of x. We can bring that down in front as multiplication. So that's going to be 5 times 
the natural log of x plus. Before we can even bring down the exponent here, you want to convert this radical into a rational exponent. So the base is 2x minus 3. The power inside the radical is the numerator of the exponent. The root, which is 3, is my denominator of my exponent. And now because I converted my radical into an exponent, I can bring that down in front as multiplication. So now it's going to be times 2 thirds natural log of 2x minus 3. And that's going to be minus, bring your power of 12 down to the front, the natural log, well in this case 12 times the natural log of 14x minus 11. And although the order is different in part b, it's still the same exact logarithm. And that is it to the laws of logarithm, guys. Hope that made sense. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you understood it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Let's zoom out so you get an entire look at everything. If you want an entire look.